who's ready to hear some good music? Chris B, what's up? This is the 2014 Crested Butte Songwriters Festival, and we're here to raise money for Cattlemen's Days, Tough Enough to Wear Pink, and we raise money for breast cancer. I've been here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Not too bad of a way to raise money, play a bunch of songs, right? No, <laughs> especially when you got all your buddies here. I mean, that's the best thing about the whole deal. When Dean Dillon asks you to do something, you don't say no. <laughs> you say yes, sir. <laughs> that's yes, right. Yes, Dean. I just want to go you're such a stud, dude. <laughs> What's really cool about this organization is all the money stays right here. And I'm so thankful that Susie and Dean have gotten BMI involved in this and made everyone aware of it. And we get to come up there and help them make a difference for the women here in this valley. I've never heard anything like it. It's a, knowing that it's going directly to somebody in this town is awesome. Oh, but baby, don't think I can't love you. The people of Crested Butte are just so welcoming and lovely, and um, I think they're loving it. You know, they they seem to be having a good time. Last night, I think, was the best crowd so far. It's cool for you guys too to get to sit on stage and tell the stories yeah. behind your songs yeah. and uh, play for these intimate groups of yeah. folks in this little I mean, town. You know, they're not, you know, maybe some of these people haven't experienced that before or seen anything like that too. So it's a great experience for me watching all these other great writers play their songs too. You don't have to keep me falling like this, but it sure be cool if you did. These people get, they know the songs, they know the artists that sing them, but sometimes people don't understand it's not always the artist that writes the song. Right. So it kind of gives you all a little pat on the back that you deserve. It does. It does. It's always nice to, uh, for people to know where the song came from. Last night, getting to sit around the suite and just in that intimate setting and hear Dean play, you all sing with him, that was a magic moment. the highlight of probably our whole Nashville experience. Sitting there with Scotty Emmerich and Dean Dillon, playing all those old tunes. Is and she guy? hung out to the last. Yep. She did. Last woman standing. Hardcore. <laughs> It's awesome to be able to do what we do for a living, but when we get to do it for a great cause like this, and these guys make it really difficult too. I mean, they're out here taking yeah. us on snowmobile yeah. runs. We have to ski, we have to sit rough. in the hot tub. It's, it's been, rough. It's been a hard time. That was the most fun I've had since I've been out here. Snow First time snowmobiling too, so it was a blast. Mine too, yeah. but I wasn't as brave as you. I rode on the back of one. I didn't drive. <laughs> Driving was fun. I got up to about 55. You were cruising. <laughs> I was cruising on a snowmobile. <laughs> I've never been anywhere like this. Fantastic town. Uh, scenery is beautiful. It's not really, you know, work when you're doing it for such a, a good thing. Anytime we can get involved with anything uh, cancer related, it, we jump at the chance. I've had it for a long 